Hello, welcome back. This is Jeff Byers, and I'll be your instructor for this video tutorial series. And we're going to be talking about how to UV map a short sleeve shirt, and we'll be using UDEM tiles. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for this demonstration, we're going to be using Maya 2023. So here's the uh, shirt, the short sleeve shirt, and it uh, has a collar and I have placed seams in the shirt so we can easily UV map and use those seams to our advantage to cover up um, basically the seams that you see in your shirt, a real shirt. So the idea here is to have seams around the arms, okay, where the shoulder is, as you can see, okay. And I've got a seam right here. And all I did was add an edge loop closer to where, you know, where I want that seam to show and just scale it in just a smidgen so you can see it when you smooth it. Okay. I did the same thing with other, this other side as well. Again, I don't like to make things exactly the same on either side, so I kind of, I kind of do this separately. I don't mirror it over. I want the shirt to not be uh, symmetrical, um, so it looks more fluid. Um, so if I add wrinkles, I add wrinkles on one side and not the other. I, I try to be very careful not to do that. All right, the same thing with this, that you will push or pull that uh, edge up or down or in to get a nice little crease. Now, it doesn't need to be deep, okay? And the same thing when I modeled uh, the shirt, you want to have thickness, but you don't need a, a lot of thickness in, in a shirt. Um, you'll have to experiment on what looks uh, best for the type of material you're going to be using for that shirt. Okay. And I also went ahead and modeled buttons, and I could have probably um, created a normal map for that, but I wanted to go ahead to uh, and model a roll button with thread um, and I would highly recommend now the stitching I'm going to add later uh, to the shirt uh, using substance painter okay so you can also do all of this uh, create folds and I would recommend once you get the basic shape of the shirt bring it into ZBrush and add folds to the shirt if, if appropriate so um, a lot of times, um, if you don't have seams in your shirt, you're going to need to find uh, a way to hide it. So uh, a lot of times I'll create a seam in the back. If, if you're not going to see much of the character from the back view, then that's a good place to put a seam. Otherwise, I would put a seam on the sides of the shirt, and that would make it a lot easier uh, to be able to hide those seams, okay, and and they're more natural because you got to kind of look at how a shirt is created, how how it's been sewn, and the pieces that are that have been put together to create it. So let's just go ahead and jump into it and see what we got and see how to lay this out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make sure the buttons are separate and the thread is separate. That's something we're going to uh, look at later. So I'm just going to concentrate on the shirt. So with this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and just hit Control-1. And that just kind of hides the buttons. I'm just going to concentrate on the shirt itself. And again, I have to do that for all four views if I need to. I'm just going to hit the F key in each viewport so I can see it. Now you can see that obviously the buttons are still there. Um, in the top view, in the front view, in the side view, but if I hit, um, if I hover over and I do control one, it will hide all the buttons. I'm just going control one in each viewport if I want to hide the buttons, okay? It's not really necessary, so I'll go ahead and go back. Just hit control one again to show the buttons again, okay?